Madam Vice President. Our two organizations have always concerned themselves with human rights violations in Iraq over the past three decades. Um, regardless of the violations being internal or external, and the gravest of all of these was the occupation of Iraq in 2003, which led to the most heinous of violations and brought sectarianism and the formation of factional militias and foreign intervention, and this facilitated the advent of terrorism in the region from every quarter. And now, with the appearance of the so-called ISIL and the derivatives of Al-Qaeda and their appearance at the outskirts of uh, Erbil, this has woken up those countries that have been previously shedding crocodile tears and that continue still to finance terrorists and train them and harbor them, ignoring their takfiri and terrorist ideas in their own capitals before dispatching them to vandalize Syria and Iraq. Uh, Mr. President, combating intellectual terrorism that seeks to obliterate the other in a region where our social fabric is made up of religious and ethnic components that have lived for hundreds of years in harmony and have coexisted together. Combating this intellectual terrorism makes it necessary for all the states uh, to abide by the respect of the sovereignty of the states and coordinating in order to prevent the terrorism from spreading and also the implementation of Security Council Resolution 2170 without any double standards in order to dry up the sources of funding, like, for example, purchasing oil from uh, so-called ISIS and its brethren, and to put an end to covering up the financing through donations collected by civil society organizations. Finally, we call for the prosecution of all those who have been implicated in those acts of terror and crimes and bring them to justice. I thank you to bring them before justice. Thank you, Madam.